Hello everyone, it is Cindy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 Growing Together expansion trailer reaction. So yesterday EA released the brand new gameplay trailer and unfortunately I had to work in the office all day yesterday so I have not had a chance to look at the trailer at all. And I am super, super excited to do that with you today. So let's take a look. In the picturesque neighborhood of Hopewell Hills, we find the Michelsons. Oh. A recent addition to the family has instigated an unexpected and uninvited guest. Oh. grandparents. Tonight, we'll use this temporary stay to explore the family dynamic, the oh. milestones that define one's life. I didn't and expect for it to be narrated. More pushes apart, and how all of it is simply a matter of perspective. Oh, first interesting. Couple's reaction to Celeste's father's unannounced arrival. Fortunately, <gasps> their family dynamic is said to close, as if hand-picked for them. Interesting. This setting, if you will, has stood the test of time. Thanks to the social mm -hmm. compatibility. Ooh, Ooh Throw compatibility. In the many stones they've achieved together. The joy they have for Orion joining the family, and they seem to be genuinely embracing Sebastian's help in growing their family together. This is so cute. <laughs> Sebastian <laughs> is very protective of his daughter, which is why he's even more critical of Christopher. Oh. There's nothing wrong with Christopher per se. He and Sebastian just have Wow. And okay, so the chemistry system, bad compatibility. The law fulfilling life. The dude's old. That's, that's what I'm saying. But he still has much to learn. <gasps> I love it. When it comes to the man who makes his daughter happy. Oh. <laughs> recent arrival has sent the family dynamic. This is so adorable. Spin, causing everyone. Oh, she's big. She's got better things to do. Interesting. After all, an infant's world is full of firsts, and there are other firsts yet to come. Oh my goodness! Bless <gasps> the once king of the castle. How he misses the days when he Ooh. had his parents wrapped around his little finger. Fortunately, he has always had a great relationship with his grandpa Sebastian. That's These gonna be fun. Makers might as well be the same. And as far as Atlas is concerned, this old jokester has come to play with him. Not the end. <laughs> the family dynamic is not something easily defined. Aww. But growing together through all of life's many surprises means understanding everyone has a different point of view. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, wow. I know I didn't say a lot, but hopefully, like, this shows my excitement. Wow, I didn't want to interrupt the narration. I didn't expect it to be narrated. I was expecting music. So I love how there's, like, a story happening in this trailer. Okay, we need to go back and go through bits and bits so I can stop and actually talk about things. This is so interesting. I think I said in the first reaction trailer that Generations was my favorite expansion in The Sims 3. So this is mostly, I would argue, like a Sims 4 glow up makeover of that expansion. So I am super, super stoked. Okay. Let's take another look and go the through it. Neighborhood of Hopewell. First of all, let's just back up there for a moment so we can see the neighborhood. Now, I know I mentioned this in my last reaction trailer, and I know that the bridge in the background is supposed to be like the Golden Gate Bridge, and this is very kind of San Francisco-esque, but can I just say this bridge is almost identical to Ursens Brew here in southern Sweden. So as far as I'm concerned, this is Skorna, and that is totally the Ørsund Bridge, and I love it. Also, the neighborhood just looks so beautiful, and this looks like the splash pad here that we've seen, 
And I've heard, I think it's been kind of confirmed that you can create your own, like build your own splash pads. Don't know if you have to use the debug catalog in order to access those items, but I am going to be very interested to find out and I think that would be awesome. And you are, I know it has been confirmed, you are able to add them to other neighborhoods, the splash pad community lots. So that is super exciting. Okay, let's jump back in. At Oakwell Hills, we find the Michelsons. A recent addition to the family has instigated an unexpected and uninvited guest. Okay. Now, I love this. I am hoping, I am hoping that we as the player can instigate this event happening. I'm hoping that it's maybe like a social event that you can, you know, invite family members and maybe also, I, I don't know if the game would be set up that you could either have it as a planned rock up the, the grandparents, the sister, whoever, relatives that don't live in the family just kind of rock up unexpectedly, or if you can set it to have it be a planned event. But I hope that it can be player initiated because for storyline purposes, that would be super, super useful. But it might also be fun if there's also an element to the game where the game just like randomly, it's like a random event, it pops up and you can either decline or um, accept that the relative wants to come over. I think both options would be great, but I would love the flexibility for the player to definitely be able to initiate it. Tonight, we'll use this temporary stay to explore <laughs> the family dynamic, the milestones that define one's life, oh. the personalities that can connect us or push us apart, and how oh. all of it is simply a matter of perspective. And I love that they've added the milestones in. I'm so excited. We've clearly seen that losing teeth is going to be a milestone, and I feel like a lot of what they've shown with the infant here with things like, you know, pulling themselves up to stand and rolling over. I, those are obviously milestones as well, or at least they should be because certainly in child development, those are considered milestones. So it's interesting to see what they will include for all of the ages as different milestones. Let's first examine the married couple's reaction to Celeste's father's unannounced arrival. <laughs> Fortunately, their family dynamic is said to float. I love this. I love that you can just do this yourself. And I'm hoping that this is something like this window, I'm hoping is something that you can just bring up from say the Sims profile panel or the relationship panel and adjust it throughout your gameplay. Because then you can really show, you know, oh, this couple, they're newlyweds, they're very close. Uh, maybe, you know, you play them for a while and something happens gameplay wise and all of a sudden they hit a bump in their relationship and they start to drift apart and then maybe you can come in here and change the relationship to be more distant and maybe they work it out and become close again. Maybe they don't and they end up separating. I think that would be really, really interesting element to add to gameplay. As if handpicked for them, this relationship setting... Also, Upright Piano making an appearance again. I know we've all been asking for it. Very, very cool. I know a lot of people are concerned that we keep seeing these very colorful painted swatches. I am hoping that there are also a couple of neutral swatches. I should think they are. We've complained about that enough in the past. Hopefully they throw in, you know, a neutral wood tone, a black and a white and so forth. But I just love seeing this upright piano again. If you will, has stood the test of time. Thanks. Also, having a proper cinema Fantastic. It's probably just a rabbit hole, but I don't care. I want to be able to send my Sims to the pictures. That's just going to be fun for like date night and things like that. To the social compatibilities they share. Throw in the many milestones Aww. they've achieved together. Okay, so here we see some milestones. What was that? There was, what was the one before marriage? Was that like dating? Probably. Yeah, just kind of like dating, spending time together, and the many milestones they 
marriage, having a baby. They seem to be genuinely embracing Sebastian's help in growing their family together. Sebastian <laughs> is very protective of his daughter, which is uh, why he's even more critical of Christopher. Oh, poor Christopher. There's nothing wrong with Christopher, per se. He and Sebastian just... And look at this. They are direct opposites. I'm assuming that this is like prankster. And, you know, Grandpa's a bit of a prankster, but Michael clearly, or no, Christopher clearly isn't. Uh, Christopher likes gardening, and I don't know if this is like thinking skill or maybe just like statue decor. And clearly, Sebastian does not like either of those. So they're going to be butting heads, and I think that's going to be really interesting to watch how that plays out and whether you encourage them to continue butting heads or if you kind of try and dampen it down. Have different interests and ways of expressing themselves. Ooh, bad compatibility. Sebastian has lived a long, fulfilling life. Aww. I also just love to see that they've added a little bit of Sebastian's backstory in here and we get to see how he kind of grew up as well. And the whole the dude's old, hilarious. Also, hello, Whalebert. I see you back there. Can't wait for you to be in my game. It's old. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but he still has much to learn. Oh, he lost his job. Man who makes his daughter happy. Oh. Oh, I love that you can do, I, I didn't hear a raspberry sound, but it's like a raspberry action on the infant's bellies. That is adorable. Brian's recent arrival has sent the family dynamics into a tailspin. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Okay, so look at this. Sibling relationships. Close, distant, difficult jokesters. That's going to be super, super fun. Oh, I cannot wait to add this into my game. I just hope it works properly. I can just see, you know, the more complicated stuff they add, the more bugginess is liable to occur. So hopefully it works smoothly. But if it does, I think this could be really, really fun. But she's a baby. She's got better things to do. Okay, check out the baby stuff. Changing table. Yes. <gasps> Bath time! Okay, we have to go back to bath time for a moment. I love that they have a little bath chair. This is so cute. Also, the little towels, I saw these hanging up on the changing room uh, scene just a moment ago. Adorable. Also, look at her baby first teeth. Adorable. Oh, so cute. World is full of firsts. Oh, rolling firsts. over and feeding herself and pulling herself up. Oh, look, and then it fills in king of the castle how he misses the days when he had his parents wrapped around his little finger that sibling rivalry he has always had a great relationship with his grandpa Sebastian. and this is adorable you know the sibling rivalry is an obvious storyline but i also just love how they're working in you know he has a great relationship with his grandpa and you know he's probably used to being the favorite grandchild and might still continue to be the favorite grandchild. Um, but you know, he gets to have some grandpa time even though mom and dad are a bit preoccupied with the new little baby sister now. I still think that's really cool. Sebastian, these two troublemakers <laughs> might as well be the same person. And as far oh. as is concerned, oh, learning to ride a bike. To play with him. And yeah. losing a tooth. Oh, yeah. first fire. Okay, that's a milestone that maybe you don't want your Sims to experience. <laughs> the family dynamic is not something easily defined. Okay, I love this. We've had children be able to hug each other and toddlers hug each other or children and toddlers hug each other. But correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think we've ever had an interaction where they'll kiss each other. And I think that's so adorable. Okay, honestly, so far we could just play a drinking game to how many times I've said the word adorable. So let me know in the comments below, count them up, how many times by the end of this video have I said the word adorable? Go. But growing 
to get through <laughs> all of life's many surprises means understanding everyone has a different point of view. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I'm I'm stoked. I was curious. I, well, we haven't really seen like the chemistry um, per se, but certainly like the relationships together. Definitely interesting to see that. I also noticed they have a thankfully much shorter article about uh, the react or the gameplay trailer today. Uh, so it says family is at the center of the Sims 4 growing together expansion pack. Meet the Michelsons, a family residing in San Sequoia's picturesque neighborhood of Hopewell Hills who are navigating some interesting new family dynamics introduced in the Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack. Watch as a doting grandparent stops by to meet their newest child, Orion, and see how social chemistry will make some Sims click and some Sims clash. How they navigate these feelings is up to you. With the Growing Together expansion pack, family is at the center of a lot of the choices and milestones your Sim will be faced with. For example, will your Sim let their parents move in with them? Ooh, saying no will impact the relationship and saying yes could make for some life at home a lot more complicated. What if your Sim's parents don't get along with your Sim's partner? Partner, choose whether you want to keep the peace or stir up some drama. Well, we all know we're gonna see a lot of drama coming up. I also love, they remind here that uh, the expansion is coming out March 16th, but I also love that they add in here, pre-order today and get ready to enjoy some family fun with a side of dysfunction. And of course you will get some pre-order items. Um, there is like a infant uh, baby Bjorn carrier. I think there was a new slide if you don't have this toddler stuff pack already. And I cannot for the life of me remember what the third object is, but there's a third object. Um, but yeah, if you pre-order, you will get all of those things as well. This is really cool. I think the dynamics look really awesome. Let me know in the comments, how stoked are you for the new expansion? I am definitely, definitely counting down to March 16th now. I am currently working on family home builds, and there might be one more apartment build, uh, but I know I do a lot of apartments and I'm trying to change it up a little bit to houses. But from now through to the expansion release, I am focusing on family builds exclusively. I have one in the works for probably next week. It's going to be released now since we have the trailer here and the reaction video for that. So keep an eye out for that. It is a beautiful, craftsman house that will be perfect for a small family and I think it will fit in with the new San Sequoia neighborhood beautifully. So keep your eye out for that. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on the new expansion and yeah, drinking game. How many times did I say adorable? But thank you so much for watching today and have a lovely day.